everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Cricut tutorial showing you how to personalise your very own doormat. And I'm going to be using the Smart Stencil material, which is fairly new to Cricut. It's about a year old now, I think. And I'm so excited to use it because I've been wanting to try it out for ages. And I think you're really going to enjoy it as well. So if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and let's get started. <laughs> Smart Stencil by Cricut and it's a really great material. It works like a, a film if you like, similar to a vinyl and when you cut out you can use it on projects like the doormats that it's got it on the little packaging here. Uh, you can do it on wooden signs, things like that and it works like a screen printing process if you like so you can paint and all other things like that, whatever you want to do um, using it as a stencil. There's also the stencil film. This one isn't a smart material, so this one would require a cutting mat. So it's quite good that they've got both options. But they also have the smart stencil available for the Joy as well. So you can buy it in Joy friendly size and you can use that as well. Other items you'll need for this project is some kind of plain doormat. Mine has got a few threads and things stuck on it where I've um, had it sat in my studio for a few weeks waiting for this tutorial, but we can clean it up in a minute. And then you'll need some kind of paint. You can use acrylic paint, although it's not as hard wearing. I'm actually gonna use a fabric paint. It's the Tulip Soft paint, and this is just a plain black paint. But again, you can use pretty much any black acrylic paint that you have. It might require a couple of coats might not be as hard wearing. I just prefer fabric paint because it's going onto a fabric mat and I've just had really good success with this because of the consistency, it's quite nice to work with. And I'll be using my Cricut Explore 3 for this video, my iPad, and you'll also need some transfer tape to transfer the stencil onto the mat. Apologies by the way if you can hear ducks in the background, my, uh, my next door neighbour has chicken and some ducks, they're being particularly loud. Anyways, um, so I found this really gorgeous design on Design Space and on editable images and images there's thousands of things that you can use. So out of interest I just typed in Hello Sunshine and I found that, that really gorgeous design by someone called Heather Roberts and I've inserted it into the canvas and I'm going to work with this because I just love it so much and it saves so much time when you've got lots of lovely work already existing on Design Space. What I love about Design Space as well is obviously you can personalise everything so if you've got an image that you've found, if you want to add like Hello Sunshine or add like a family name or I just love Hello Sunshine and that's what I've wanted on the doormat for a long time. So I'm really excited to make this one. And then I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you what the steps are for doing so. So you want to make sure you lay out the doormat so that we can measure it. It's got the measurements on here, it says 40 by 60 centimetres, so just double check that. So 60 by 40, let's also check it in inches because I actually prefer to work in inches. So 15 and a half by 23. And then obviously we are quite limited in the sense of what size that we can cut. So if we take our stencil, we can see that it's 13 inches um, in width. So we can go up to three foot, but we can go up to three, 13 inches wide. So if we go on to edit, you want to resize that accordingly. So the height is, if we just put 12.8, then that we know that's gonna fit into the machine and it's 16 wide, so. Perfect. So once you've resized it where you want it, so we can go ahead and press me uh, next. And then we need to find the smart stencil material. So click on all materials, smart stencil. So now that it's sent it to the machine, all you need to do is head over to the machine and put in the stencil and you do it the blue side up. Once your machine has checked that you've got enough vinyl, you can press the play button and it will start the cut. I do actually have a roll holder on its way, which I'm so excited for, because at the moment I have to like hold it. <laughs> so a quick tip when you're working with a doormat or some kind of fabric base, you want to get some tape and make sure that you remove any dust particles or any fluff or anything like that. There's quite a lot on mine, but that's because I work in a studio where I do a lot of sewing, so there's a lot of like fibers and stuff. 
and just use that to lift off any of the sort of debris and things. Once that's done, we can start removing the vinyl from the stencil. So I'm just gonna grab something that I can put down to hold it down. And the way that you need to do this is, it feels a little bit strange, but we actually need to remove the inside of the vinyl, like the text, rather than the outside, which you would usually um, weed off. So using our weeding tool, we're gonna just pick up these words and weed them off and actually feels really nice to weed off. Super easy actually. Super quick and easy and now we need to get our transfer tape to transfer it onto the mat. Hey guys, Future Paige here. I'm just cutting in quickly because I'm editing the video and basically what happened is the transfer paper that I tried to use was just a little bit too sticky and the film uh, just stuck to it and I couldn't get it off. So I recut the project um, and then just made sure that I use a less sticky transfer tape. So when you're going into making this project and you're using the stencil film, just make sure that you use the correct transfer tape and I would suggest using the lightweight transfer tape. Um, either the Cricut branded or if you're getting a non-branded just make sure that it's not a really super sticky transfer tape because the film is quite thin and it does uh, really really stick to that transfer tape. So that's my only sort of tip uh, going forward so now we can continue with the rest of the video. So I did that what I suggested which was take the sticky away from the transfer tape and now I am just peeling the backing card away from the stencil I have no idea if this is going to work, so we shall see. So that is finally in place and I'm actually so flabbergasted that I managed to save it. Um, one thing I do um, have to do though is uh, this L last because I lost the piece. But we have the template, we have the stencil, it's, it's ready to go. And now it's a case of painting. So we're going to use this soft tulip matte fabric paint and this is in black and to do this we just want to make sure that's as flat as possible but with our paintbrush we're actually going to work it so we're like dabbing it around the stencil and even if you've got bits that are ever so slightly loose or they're lifting a little bit it will just help to sort of like keep it within the lines so we can just simply open the paint or a little bit on where the lines are and then use our paintbrush to sort of dab that in from a top motion. You might get a little bit of bleed but because it is like a coarse fabric you'll find that it doesn't matter too much and it should still remain very tidy underneath. See how quick that was? So I'm going to continue the process with all the letters and once it's ready I can show you the peel. So I'm just gonna wait for the paint to dry a little bit. It can be tacky, but just so it's dry, so you're not um, picking up any of the black and spreading it. And then we can do the satisfying peel. I'm so excited. Here goes the peel, I'm so excited. Ooh, it's looking good. It's turned out really well, I'm so happy with it. So let's go place it on my doorstep and we can see what it looks like. And there we have it you guys, here is the finished doormat. I hope you enjoyed seeing it come together. But yeah, I'm really really pleased with it and actually the painting process was the easiest process of them all. Just use the right transfer tape and actually it will be a really really quick and easy make for you guys not like it was for me <laughs> um so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful if you haven't already please make sure to subscribe to this channel i have lots of other cricut videos and i've got a cricut playlist which i'll leave linked in the description box below as well as all the materials that i use in today's video i'll leave them linked so you can go and check them out for yourself and yeah that's it thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye